We're at the prison today. It's the first time you've seen the governor out of Woodbury since episode three. And he's come to the prison to exact his revenge on Rick and his team. And he has some very special ways of doing that. There's basically a lot of mayhem that is occurring as a result of the governor's vengeful heart. I think the governor's attack is maybe the best 10 minutes of filmmaking I've ever been involved in. I think it's beautifully shot, beautifully done. It feels like a war movie. Daryl, our special effects coordinator, you know, did tons of squib hits, ton of bullet hits everywhere. We had lots of active gunfire, and you know, our props department had blanks and everything, so we got a lot of real good gunfight action. Michonne shoots at him again. Bam, bam. The main thing about when you're working with guns is you defer to the people who are the gun suppliers and the gun handlers all the time. Even though they're shooting blanks, we still have to be very careful because they expel cartridges from the side of the gun, which are very hot. Now the guns get very hot themselves. John Sanders, who looks after the guns for us, he knows that each gun has a story to tell in the scene. He will give us lessons on that. He'll take us to the shooting range. He's a very calm man, and I always like that in a gun handler. I was baptized by fire, actually, because I'd never shot the thing, and it was like, deny, you're shooting a gun today. OK, this is how you do it. Michonne ain't that into guns, but she understands their use. So it is very interesting for her to use the gun for the first time in the show, which we see is not something that she presently excels at. She can't be good at everything, right? <laughs> it's interesting. There's a tremendous shootout, and everybody's pinned down. And then all of a sudden, things get quiet. And then, bam. He gets one of his men to drive a bread truck right through the gates of the prison. Over. Of course, what's in the back of it isn't loaves of bread. <laughs> we have eight days to shoot each individual episode. See, man who directed that episode, he had his hands full. A lot of times you don't want to spend an extra hour shooting inserts of zombie heads being crushed because it just doesn't make sense. My responsibility on the show always has been the guy who will go in and film all of those inserts. In episode 10, I went in and shot a lot of pickups of walkers coming out of the bread truck and they were coming towards Herschel. So we had a, a blank gun. So on action, I'm standing next to the camera and I raised the gun and I pulled the trigger. Boom! And the guy fell. And then I did it again. Boom! It was the first time in my career that I had ever held a weapon with blanks and fired it at somebody and then they fell. I gotta go take care of them. Where's my sword at? With visual effects, our big sequences were Michonne kind of running to rescue Herschel, who was in the field. So we had a couple of decapitations and another kind of cleave across the face and with a little bit of splitting of the face. You know, it's always fun. I also think that when Rick is up against the fence, you really buy Rick could be killed at that moment. You know, as I'm watching it, I feel, oh my God, they're gonna kill Rick. And, and you know, <laughs> and trust me, I know what happens. There's a shot of a zombie face to face with Rick. It was really a timing gag where, you know, we said, and arrow, and we had the zombie and Rick, you know, do a little bit of head reaction, and then a big CG bolt comes right through and just, just narrowly misses his eyeball. You know, and you got a good little reaction from Rick at that point of just like. I love that sequence so much that when we were cutting it, I would go into the editing room and say to Hunter, our editor, hey, can you just put the scene on again? And we would just sit there and watch it. And I'd say, okay, great. And I'd come back two hours later and watch it again. I just, I, I love it. The Walking Dead. All new episodes, Sunday nights at 9, only on AMC. For more exclusive video, go to amctv.com.